Good morning, my friends. Welcome to another session of Baby Playtime. Now with the holidays approaching and winter being here, I thought it would be a great time to learn some new winter action songs. These are songs that you can do with your baby, but also if you have older children who are in preschool, toddler age, even school age children, you can uh, mix along these songs to do some song and dance with it. And these are some great songs that you can sing along um, while the children are home from school and with your little baby, if your baby has woken up from their nap or before they go to sleep. The benefits of singing action songs and finger play are uh, far too many. One of them is that it exercises their multi-sensory skills. So when you're singing to your baby, of course you want to remember that they don't care what you sound like, they just like seeing your expression, hearing your voice, it's soothing. If you sing the same song to them all the time, they are gonna start recognizing the words, it's going to enhance the vocabulary skills. Once your baby grows a little bit older, it's going to entice your baby to reach out touch you while they're singing. They're going to try to copy your facial expressions. I know in our earlier sessions, Miss Diane had done some finger plays. So this is just an extension off of that if you wanted to learn some songs for the winter. And again, here at the Early On Center, we usually love singing songs during our gathering time. So these are also songs that we would be singing to our older children. So feel free to do these songs and make up your own actions when it comes to your older children and your baby siblings as well. So there are three songs I'm going to teach you today and I'm going to get our little baby doll here that we have. Here we go. And so if you have a little baby, I always suggest a great way to sing to them is to cradle them in a position where they can see you and so that they can see your facial expressions. You can do some actions, tickle them. Um, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to have the baby turned around this way uh, so I can teach you guys the songs. Now I'm going to put these songs in our comment section. If you would like a copy that you can print out, feel free to message us on Facebook or you can email us. Um, and that we can send you a copy that you can print out at home. So the first song that I'm going to teach you is called uh, The Mitten in the Snow. Now I forgot to mention that when you're doing these finger songs or action play songs, you really don't need anything at all, just your voice, your hands, your facial expression. Don't worry about what you sound like. All you want is your baby to hear you and, a, and just to be communicating with them. Um, but any small things that you do have at home you can use, such as stuffed animals, if you have a teddy bear, uh, if you have some balls, we have some sensory balls here. So if your baby is at that age where they're able to hold things, you can give it to your baby. You can also use some uh, tools that make some noise. I just happen to have some bells here. Uh, as I've mentioned in a previous uh, baby playtime, I always encourage some mirrors so you can put it uh, in front of your baby so your baby can see their uh, facial expressions while you're singing to them. And also if you have any rattles or anything soft uh, or um, hard that they can hold on to that is obviously bigger than their hand so it is safe. Um, but uh, if they're at that age where they're not able to hold on to anything at all, just having them be able to see you while you sing to them is great. So the first song, The Mitten in the Snow, I do have one prop and you might have it at home since it's winter time. I have some gloves here. So this is one of the props I'm gonna use today. But again, if you do not have uh, mittens or gloves that you can use, using your hands do just as well. I also decided to uh, glue some pom-poms onto my gloves and so it doesn't have to be any specific color. Um, I just put it on here so that your baby can uh, notice different colors or focus on different things. But again, as I've mentioned before, um, your hands are just as good. So let me sing this first song to you. Um, it goes to the tune of Farmer and the Dell. So, 
it goes, the mittens in the snow, the mittens in the snow, help us please so we don't freeze the mittens in the snow. And then this part, we're going to add in a stuffed animal, if you have one at home or a toy that the baby might be familiar in. So I have our early on squirrel here, so I'm going to add that to the song. A squirrel squeezes in, a squirrel squeezes in, help us please so we don't freeze this mitten in the snow. All right, now you can sing this as many times as you want. You can include it, um, include as many animals or stuffed animals you would like. Now I'm going to show you a way that you can do it with your baby when your baby is facing you and show you some ideas that you can do with some um, toys and tools that you have at home. All right, let's sing it again. The mittens in the snow, the mittens in the snow. Help us please so we don't freeze the mittens in the snow. A duck squeezes in, a duck squeezes in. Help us please so we don't freeze the mittens in the snow. And so that is a one song that you can sing to your baby. And again, it's great because it's going to be helping them uh, work on their fine motor skills. It's also going to have your baby recognize different vocabulary. So as your baby gets older, um, different words that you use. And also, of course, it's such a great thing for your baby to be able to see their loved one's facial expression. Before you know it, you're going to see your baby uh, mimicking what you do, depending on their age. It might make them coo, it might make them laugh, it might make them giggle, but overall, they're going to feel a sense of security, just hearing your voice and a sense of calm. So let's go on to the second song. Our second song is called Dance Like a Snowflake. As you can see, I have a little thing going on with snowflakes, but again, um, you can uh, add in your own words, you can mix it up, whatever might work for you. So this song goes to the tune of Farajaka, and the song goes like this. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes, in the air, in the air. Winter twirling snowflakes, winter twirling snowflakes, here and there, here and there. All right, I'm gonna take my mittens off and just to show you what you can do to expand on this song, I have my jingle bells or any noise makers that you have, or again, use your hands and you can do it like this. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes, in the air, in the air. Whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes, here and there, here and there. Feel free to use your mirror so while you're singing, your baby can look at their reflection and also maybe perhaps mimic your facial expressions as well. Now, as I had mentioned, if you have older kids, um, your toddlers perhaps might uh, be home with you or um, over the holidays, your school-aged children may be home every day. Um, these are great songs that you can do for action and dance so they can be standing up and singing the song as well. So the third song um, I'm going to teach you is also another song about snowflakes and it goes to the tune of the alphabet song. So let me go get the gloves again. I'm going to put them on. All right, okay. So I'm going to sing the song. And again, I'm going to put these words uh, in the comments below. And if you'd like a copy of it, we can also email it to you as well. So it goes, snowflakes, snowflakes, dance around. Snowflakes, snowflakes, touch the ground. Snowflakes, snowflakes in the air. Snowflakes, snowflakes everywhere. Snowflakes, snowflakes, dance around. Snowflakes, snowflakes, touch the ground. Now, I'm going to put the baby down. To expand with your little ones, if you have uh, your bigger kids, 
they can stand up and do the song as well with the actions. So I'm gonna show you an example of what you can do. They can go, snowflake, snowflakes, dance around. Snowflake, snowflakes, touch the ground. Snowflake, snowflakes, everywhere. Snowflake, snowflakes, dance around. I got the words wrong. But um, anyhow, you just uh, use what you're singing to do the actions if you have older kids. So let's do the first song again. It's called The Mittens in the Snow. And again, you can expand on it if you have your older kids, but if you have your baby, you can be holding your baby with the different stuffed animals that you can use. So I have my squirrel and I have my duck. So again, it's going to the tune of The Farmer in the Dell. The mittens in the snow, the mittens in the snow. Help us please so we don't freeze the mittens in the snow. A duck squeezes in, a duck squeezes in. Help us please so we don't freeze the mittens in the snow. If you have a teddy bear or if your baby has a little lovey blanket, you can use whatever you have. Scarves are a great alternative. Um, and also I want to remind our families to don't worry about how you sound. Um, it's just your soothing, familiar voice that your baby is going to love to hear. So we're gonna add in the squirrel here with the song. The mittens in the snow, the mittens in the snow. Help us please so we don't freeze the mittens in the snow. A squirrel squeezes in, a squirrel squeezes in. Help us please so we don't freeze the mittens in the snow. So we have our baby back here. And once you've gotten comfortable with singing the songs um, and uh, you know incorporating your own actions in there, you can uh, do different kinds of holding techniques with your baby while singing the song. You can sing the songs while holding them up in the air. Again, the cradle, uh, cradling notion. If they are lying down, you can lie down beside them and prop up so that they can see your face. So I hope you enjoyed these songs. Are there any type of songs that you guys love singing to your babies and children every day? We here at the Early On love singing different songs depending on what's going on in the seasons, depending on what's going on with what your child is interested in. So I hope you like these winter songs. Again, you can find these songs in the comments. I'm going to put them down below. And if you'd like a printed copy, uh, you can always email us or uh, direct message us on Facebook. And we hope to have you again here at our next uh, baby playtime sessions. We are going to be expanding to some new and exciting programming in the new year. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you again. Bye.